Well, I've got not only one, but I have two huge bags as proof that I went to the Lakeshore Learning Back to School sale. I'm gonna show you what I hauled in today's video and a big thanks to Lakeshore Learning for sponsoring this video and a giveaway. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and these bags are so heavy that I'm gonna put them down because they are filled with so many goodies in them and I cannot wait to show you. I recently did a whole Lakeshore Learning Shop with me. It was so much fun. I have a whole video. You can see all the good things that they have in store. It's especially fun because they have their huge back to school sale going on right now and there's some really great discounts going. I do have a coupon code for you too. It's also down below in the description box. You can go check that out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I hauled so that you can get an idea of some of the fun things that they have. And there's also a giveaway that Lakeshore Learning is sponsoring and that will be at the end of this video, so stay tuned for those details. So let's break open these bags and see what we have. The very first thing that was on my list was my absolutely must get easy clean craft trays because I use these so many times in so many different ways. So we have four craft trays in here. I use them for sorting activities. I even use them for sorting my materials for my videos. My kids will pull them and use them for crafts. I used to use them to like pre-set up activities. There are just so many uses for them. I have probably three sets of these. I got another one because I'm always looking for trays. I'm tell my kids, where are the trays? We need some trays. The price right now for their back to school sale at Lakeshore is the best price on these. So definitely, definitely, definitely get these. Purple Alphabet favorite. I also got a new dry erase board. Now I'm gonna be honest, I have a lot of dry erase boards already, but I wanted to get a new one. This one, especially because it's magnetic. I'm trying to open it here as I'm talking. They have a couple different styles. Now, if you watched my shop with me video, you saw that they had one that had writing on it, like the lines for printing, and then it was blank on the other side. This one is just magnetic on one side, and then they have one that is not magnetic at all. It's just a dry erase board. They're all at different price points, so you can pick one that is gonna suit your needs the best. And I got this one because it is magnetic, and I'm sure it's probably blending right into my background, but that's okay. A thing I wanted to point out about this one is that it is heavy duty. So if you're gonna have a lot of classroom use or a lot of home use, this one is built to last. Nice and thick, great quality. While I was there, I also picked up some of these because they have the dry erase marker and they have the eraser on the cap. Not only that is they're magnetic, so they will stick right to the board and so you won't lose them. I also got them because they're in rainbow colors. So usually in other stores, I find them in a couple of colors, but not all the rainbow colors. So that's another reason why I got them their fine point. So a set of dry erase markers and the little eraser on the top are like the best thing ever with my magnetic dry erase board. And since we're talking about magnets, had to get these. These are the alphabet picture magnets. 78 magnets in here. There's three for each letter. So what you're getting is a cute little tub that has a handle on it so you can take it with you. But not only that, you're getting these nice size, look at these, these are great size magnets with pictures on them. So they're extra thick, great to hold on to. So we have our picture and there's three for each different letter sound. So we have some vocabulary practice in here. You can take out just the letters that you're working on, the phonetic sounds that you're working on. I think it'd even be fun to use these as story starters. So take out one of them and then write a story. Put this on your little magnetic board and write a story about a watermelon and maybe pick another one and add in something about a net. These would go really, really well with the alphabet. So in the shop with me video, I'm gonna be referring to that a lot in this one because they have the classroom magnetic alphabet as a door bus. I already have it, so I didn't buy it on this shopping trip, but how great would it be to pair that because they're magnetic letters with this alphabet picture magnet tab. So you can use them together and actually find the letters that correspond with this. That would be absolutely perfect. You need a dry erase board. <laughs> you don't have to get the markers, but it'd be really helpful. And this tab and then those alphabet letters, you can do so many activities with just those things and many different combinations and variation. Something to think about, especially since these are on sale right now, these are on sale, these are on sale, and then that magnetic set is a doorbuster, meaning that if you go into to the store and get it, it will be at a doorbuster price. One more alphabet item that is new to me that I couldn't wait to open and check out. This is the Tactile Liquid Letters, ages three and up recommended on this, and how 
cool are these? Now these are sensory driven. So each one of these is translucent and it has a texture on the letters. I'm not even sure if the camera is going to be catching the texture on it. There's different textures on different ones. Some of the letters are different than the others. And then inside the letter, there's this kind of gel inside that you can move around and feel. These are all uppercase and they're a lot of fun just to touch and explore. So if you have a child that is just learning their letters, this would be a really fun way to introduce them. These would also be great to match to flashcards to work with your letter sounds. You could even pull in your alphabet picture magnets and match them up with the letters too when you find a letter sound. These can be used on something like a light board. So if you have a light board, you can put these on there and then they're translucent. So the light will actually shine through those and that'd be a really fun tactile way. I will even use these in water on a water table. I'd probably get a little net and go fishing for letters. I have like an alphabet soup. Oh, I like the M. The M is purple. You can put them all in a bag and pull one out and work on letter names. Also sequence the letters, put them in order. You know, maybe just do three letters at a time. What letter comes between these two? And then even tracing. These would be so much fun to trace because they're nice and large and a really great size to do some tracing on. So cute and so fun. And I just love the textures. Like you're just not gonna stop touching these at all. Moving on to talking about math, or a little bit of math manipulatives. These are the Sea Animal Counters, ages three and up, 126 pieces in here. In my video, I showed you a whole bunch of different ones that they have. I just thought these were adorable. I'm gonna put them out here. If you guys happen to find something at Lakeshore right now that is not on sale, I have a coupon that's good for online or in person. So I'll put that down below in the description box if you need to use a coupon, I got, the, I got you covered there. How cute are these? All right, so these can be used for so many different things. Math manipulatives, counting, sorting the different sea animals. So we have crabs here. You can find all the crabs and the different colors. There's a blue one over here. Starfishes, octopuses, seahorses. Oh my goodness, the turtles are really cute too. We have dolphins and whales and penguins. You can also do sorting by color because we have all the colors of the rainbow here. You can do graphing with them. You can use these in 10 frames. That would be a really fun use for them. There's so many in here too. What's kind of cool is that Lakeshore usually includes an activity guide in here and gives you some ideas on how to use them in some activities. Uh, in here it's talking about sorting. We kind of talked about that patterning making a pattern, that would be really good. Addition, subtraction, more or less, which one has more or less. So if you're ever stuck on some ideas, this is a really good resource, which comes right with it. So you can get some more ideas. These would also be fun with some fine motor tools, taking a fine motor tool and picking them up and putting them into a bucket for sorting. So you can kind of extend the activity that way. I'm all about adding to something to make your activity go a lot farther. Something like this, something basic like this can go a long way and can be used over and over and over again in different things, which is why I think it's really important to consider this if you're going to be getting a manipulative that you can use over and over again. It just takes it a lot further. So that's why these are really, really worth it because you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. This little guy comes in different styles. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, as I showed you in my shop with me video. I got the division because it's kind of one we don't have since we already had the multiplication. Because all you need to do is find the equation, push the button, and then the answer is going to appear right there on the side. We have kind of every equation from one divided by one all the way to 81 divided by nine. So you've got the full table here. What's really cool is if playing around with this, you just kind of learning you're learning your math facts. You'll say the answer and then check your answer. So it's like self-checking. But only that if you have a problem, my kids kind of use this like a calculator to go and check their work. You can also use this with flashcards and then find it over here for repetition. And then I like that it's for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So you have different ones. My kids will just play around with this having fun. Sometimes they're just pushing the buttons to push the buttons. And then other times they are actually doing the math facts. So it's a really simple kind of entertaining way to work on those math facts. This one is a doorbuster right now. So if you want to take advantage of the doorbuster price, you can find that one in store at the doorbuster price. A little bit of art. Now I had to hold back on a lot of the art things, but what I wanted to get is this little box of decorate and design paper squares. This is so much fun. There's, can you believe there's 4,000 little paper squares in here? Let me look at this. So these are meant for collages or crafts. Now my kids love paper crafts and 
putting together and gluing things and they're pre-cut for you and so you can take them and cut them more or you can use them as they are to create all kinds of collages and on the box they actually show you a whole bunch of different varieties that you can make like that little lizard there and then over here some flowers where they've actually cut them lots of ideas we actually have the tissue paper one and we use the tissue paper box over the years because there's just so much in there and we can pull it out and we have pre-made tissue paper something like this where it's all cut and done for you just makes it simpler so when you want to do an activity you don't have to worry about pre-cutting pieces it's already done something else i wanted to point out that we got last year that this would have been perfect for and we still have some of the pieces would be the people kits they have some pre-cut people forms and all kinds of different shades and those would be amazing to use with this too to create clothing for those this one is the Create a Chain Reaction Starter Set. Now this one's for grades three to five. It's the next step up. We actually have the one for the younger grades. I believe it's grade two. Not sure, I'll put a clip up here of the one when I saw it in the store. We have that one and loved it. Now that my kids have gotten a little older, I wanted to expand it and get the next one up. So this one is for the grades three and five. So don't let this be intimidating to you if you have younger kids because they do have one for the younger kids as well. As you can see, there's a ton of pieces in here, including 59 nine contraption components. There's four balls, there's four cords, and there's eight challenge cards and a menu book. And all of these pieces you're going to need to make your chain reaction. Now this is a STEM kit, so science, technology, engineering, and math. So it's really emphasizing those skills. The activity guide itself, when you open it up, you're gonna find all of the pieces laid out for you so you understand how they work. And plus there's some tips on here too, and also some troubleshooting things. What we're working on with this STEM kit is understanding gravity, force, motion, momentum, speed, properties of all these materials, solving the problems that come up when you're building all of these chain reactions. This is the starter set menu book. So it will have inside here a little guide to all of the, or it's a legend to all of the symbols, and then it'll have how to use the balls and tracks and pieces, and then each piece. So here's a ramp, how it works, what to think about, some tips about how to use it, and then it shows you a visual on how to put it together and it does that for each piece this is called a topple here's how it works and what you're trying to do a switch a hammer so these are all the specialty moves pusher seesaw zip line elevator and then even a spot for notes so this is kind of like your little guide that your children will use here are the challenge cards so there's eight different challenge cards on here and it will tell you up here you're going to use two contraptions and you're going to get the green ball into the goal so we have our goal here and our components so we have the start ramp hammer and then you'll use this guide to follow that. So you'll look for the ramp, you'll set up a ramp, you'll look for the hammer in your guidebook. Here's the hammer and then you'll have your goal box over here and you're trying to create the chain reaction to get your ball from the start into the goal using all those. Lots of STEM skills, lots of engineering, lots of problem solving because it's not going to work the first time most likely. What can we do to remedy that problem? Creative thinking, logic, everything. So it's a really, really good set to work all those skills. And there's also classroom editions of these two. So so if you want to expand the kit, you can get the classroom edition so that you can work with it with more children. Now for the giveaway details, you must be 18 years of age or older to enter and have a US postal address. We're giving away a Lakeshore Learning gift card and I'm super excited about that because that means you can pick what it is that you want. Head on over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. And don't forget to watch the whole shop with me video so you can get a great idea of what they have in store. You guys, click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.